plain, but it is very smooth. <coughs> we do have a screen on the roof, and if you feel like watching it, it'll tell you a bit about the ride along the way. Welcome to Sky Point. Shortly, you'll be travelling at over three storeys per second in one of Australia's fastest elevators to the top of one of the world's tallest residential towers. Your trip will take less than 43 seconds. Next stop, the observation deck, 230 metres above sea level. Relax with a coffee, meal or drink from our licensed Byron Cafe whilst enjoying the spectacular 360 degree views from Australia's so own seaside yeah. observation yeah. deck. Yeah. Please enjoy the visit. That goes about 10% slower than the first second of free nervous downstairs, you just try and get that off the railing. Now this is my one and only chance to say, what was yours, Brenton? Brenton. 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 I need you to have a look around the corner to your left, because about 10 metres further up, you're going to see another couple of sitting on the railing just like that. Yep. Right, that's going to be the one I use when I get to the front. But now, I need you to keep going to get to it. As long as you stop when you get there, because otherwise we will not have to do it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Francis. Keeps the way when you see that traveler ahead of you, and then you're very welcome to head up to it. Easiest thing to do as you are, hands underneath. 
Brooke. Yeah. Brooke. 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 Brooke
Uh -huh. I read the orange one. Are you zooming through the radio? Yeah. Fantastic. This one here? This one here. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So that you can do this. Alright, let's head on up. And welcome to the Gold Coast as I get to see it every day. Most of the time, we've got about a living here. But of course, once you include tourists in that number, the city gets more than 20 times larger. Most of our visitors come to those beautiful beaches and of course, the theme park. Wow. If you do have a chance to explore the mountains behind you though, make sure you do. The Gold Coast Tinterland hides some spectacular waterfalls, wineries and glowworms, and the largest subtropical rainforest anywhere in the world. Look at all the dots down there. Really <laughs> all those other skyscrapers start looking so small. Wow. That you begin to realise just how much taller we are. Wow. Here we go, here comes the Māori. Wow. 
Wow. Now, can you guys still hear me down the back? Yeah. Brilliant. I'm stopping you at the top of the stairs for a moment while I get onto my overhead safety. And I do that so I can move around you guys and take lots of pictures. I'm going to call each of you up one at a time to get a photo of everyone with both the south and the north facing view. And while I will happily get couple and family shots, I get most of those over there on the platform. The reason I don't usually take photos of people side by side right here, let's face it, I'm not tall enough to get the camera over you, which means we're just going to block out the view behind you. Now, when it's your turn, you are very welcome to stay at the railing if you like, but if you're feeling brave, this is your chance to try our lean back. Now the lean back is where you grab your black primary safety. You hear that great big buckle? Forget about the steel cable, you don't need it. You grab the black ones and you pull it tight. There is a particular spot that I get you to stand because it is far away from this post and it lets me get the post out of your picture. Now once you're there, you lean against your arms and you start to straighten them. Yes, I tip back a little bit, but in no time at all the cable goes tight and once it's tight, you cannot go any further. Remember, each of these can hold your car. That means it is safe to let go and lean off the side. Not everyone's cup of tea, but it makes an amazing photo. So if you'd like to try it, please let me know. In the meantime, stay right where you are. I'll be back when I'm on that overhead safety in about 30 seconds. <laughs> and then you put your feet you put your feet as far back to the edge as possible and then lean back. Yeah, that's the way. And then instead of doing the Titanic forward, you're doing the Titanic backwards. <laughs> Okay, 
you want to go back, straighten your arms and tip yourself back. If you're ever not comfortable, bend them again. And if you can get this tight, then you'll feel it squeeze around your waist. You got that? You cannot go any further than that. Right, welcome to let go of your body too. Can I let go of my whole body? Yeah, go one arm at a time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now let me take that kink out of there before that scares the pants of you. Beautiful. There you go. Now, pull that tight. And if you want to go back, you just you lean against it and straighten your arms. If your knees buckle, you'll end up sitting in front of your feet because that is how long you stand. Three, two, one. already put a kink in there. Right. Let's get that out. Yep. Grab this one. Yep. If you want to lean back, push yep. back with your hips. Yep. Push back. You got that? Yep. Keep that tight. Okay. While that's tight, you cannot go any further. Yep. Are you welcome to let go if you want to? Yep. Yeah, nice. Come on through. <laughs> that Usually a little blue light that flashes too. Cool. Come around the corner here. Point them out to people because lots of uh, cultures don't go in the water. It's such a shame. There aren't any. Which is great. <laughs> there's white water there. Generally speaking, it's shallow. You can stand up. Now there is one more photo that I do have to get, and that of course is the group shot. So please, back up into the wide area and get nice and close together. The closer you get together, the more background I can fit in your photo. And I generally get two of these because the first one is all about your faces. After that, we can have a little fun with it if you want. Now, I'm just thinking about light. And this way might be better. Um, no, I think this way might be better actually. All right. So push in there nice and close for me. Wait. Now again, I usually get two of these. First one's all about your faces. We can have some fun with the second one. Oh, that's it. Stay there, Carlos. Perfect. Oh, three, two, one. Nice. So we can see everyone there, but it looks a bit like a school photo. Yeah. <laughs> if you want to have some fun with this, you go right ahead. Now you're welcome to cheer and scream. Up, if anyone wants to lean back on their safeties while there's a floor here, do it. But be straight out from the railing. Can we do a jump? All right. No, you can't do a jump. <laughs> There's only two, uh, two things you can't do. Jump in the air and climb on the railings. <laughs> if you're planning to lift a foot up, you're very welcome to, but you must have a hand on the railing instead. Okay? You are perfectly safe. But if it ends up on Facebook with less than three points of connection, we lose our insurance. <laughs> and please, make sure you can see the camera or the camera can't see you. So, feel free to have some fun with it. If you're going to lean on the railing, be straight out from it or your traveler will follow you and you guys will find yourselves running towards the edge. 
Here we go. I get three kinds of groups up here. The ones that get into it say thank you. <laughs> we also get the ones who say, I can do anything. Really? <laughs> yeah! And it looks no different at all. <laughs> <laughs> they are still more fun than the ones who go, oh, for goodness sake, just hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to 270 meters above the beach. This is the highest you can be outside a building anywhere in Australia and the only seaside observatory. Now, if anyone's got any questions about the coast or the building, don't be afraid to ask. If you do want to know what something is or where something is, I'll happily point stuff out. And if you do want any other quick photos while we're here, don't be shy, ask while you're here. Okay, as soon as we start down again though, I'm below you. So the only thing I can get in your photo from that point on is the sky and everyone else. <laughs> right? Does anyone think this is scarier than they thought it was going to be? No. Quite peaceful if that guy would just stop yelling at us. <laughs> Guys, please enjoy, soak it up. If you've got any questions, ask away. You can lean over the edge if you want to. <laughs> now make sure you get that video down. Yeah. And again on the other side of the coat on that corner, it's got less shadow over the floor, ah. so you get more sun on it. What's the orange rope for? Uh, they're in the middle of painting. Oh. Yeah, they haven't done that for a while, but they've done all the others and that not that section in the middle yet. And one part's you doing that job. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> They painted most of it, yeah. There's a few little bits they're still doing, um, but most of it's been done already. It was supposed to finish about three weeks ago, but how good's, the, how good's the view on their lunch break? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I work in the film industry when I'm not doing this, and years ago, one of the stunt coordinators was saying, getting a house built, oh, it's about three months overdue already. I'm like, how many set builders do you know? Okay. They had two weeks to build this set. They not only built a tree house you could put a film crew in, they built the tree. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you paying builders? <laughs> home or where you're staying around the coast? I got to view from your belt. <laughs> <laughs> Seven tons and is not even connected to the body of the building. <laughs> Hangs off the side of eight of these. <laughs> the old building was designed to look like the Olympic torch from the Sydney Games in 2000, though. So with that in mind, I believe the fire is supposed to be the flame on the torch. Yeah. 
Yeah, well they did have a torch on display on the observation deck for a while. Did you just see this thing? How tall is that? 322 and a half metres. Wow. When we were finished, that made us the world's tallest residential tower for about a year. <laughs> That's always peppers. Peppers is exactly 243 metres. The Q1 was finished, the council got a little nervous about how tall buildings were getting, so they capped future construction at 250. Our yellow railing down there sits at floor number 80, and that's 243, which is exactly how high the peppers went, so kind of that railing. And we figured we're going to be the tallest building on the Gold Coast till somebody pays the council an obscene amount of money to change their mind. Now, in 2014, it was announced that the tallest building in the Southern Hemisphere would eventually go up across the river and south. So I am guessing that bribe has been cut. Yes. <laughs> so I wouldn't have been in the casino that I was walking through up in the No, 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 no. <laughs> That's a funny story, actually. On the way down, about three blocks, you'll see the construction site with some big yellow cranes. That's where the Oak Hotel used to stand. They are obviously putting another building there because that block of land was worth way too much to leave blank. Last year it sold for $63 million without a building on it. Now the rumour is that what they want to build will be about the height of this platform. But the Q1 here is on 12 acres of land, virtually the whole block. Our foundations go down 100 metres into the ground, 50 of that is into the bedrock. So we've got 30 storeys beneath us just to anchor the foundations. Now I'm no engineer, block of land down there looks way too small for a building this tall. What has no limits here on the Gold Coast however is rumours. We have a very proactive and forward thinking Lord Mayor who will approve everything and then gets told by all his subcommittees, sorry sir, you can't do that. But I've announced it on the radio, it doesn't matter. Four cruise ship terminals and two casinos have been announced on the spit where you are only allowed to build to three storeys. The boats are higher than that. <laughs> <laughs> it does astound me that we don't have a cruise ship terminal here, but, you know, and, and if given time it will happen. But, you know, half the islands in the Caribbean anchor offshore and come in by tender. I don't see why they can't do that. Thing is, it would take them longer to offload the ships than to bring the passengers down from Brisbane. <laughs> it's amazing how quickly you get used to your safety, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah straight out from the railing. Yeah. That's why we call it a traveller. <laughs> now, I'm a little bit renowned for taking way too long up here, but I'm sure you can appreciate why. We really do have to start heading down again. And when we are going down the building, you don't have to hold that traveller at all anymore. Let it go and it will roll with gravity. <laughs> now for that reason, I'm going to get you to hook that orange carabiner, wait for it, to this material loop just below your big black buckle. Okay? You can have it on your harness if you want, but if it gets too short, it'll start to pull the brakes on. Now because you don't have to hold on to your traveller anymore, it frees your left hand up for the railing and most people usually want to trot down the stairs the same way they would at home because that's what you're used to. The problem with that is if you slip because with your hand in front of you and on top, it is going to peel straight off that railing. Okay, so please, don't have your hand in front of you and on top, have your hand behind you and underneath that rail. Now it is not like that. It's going to feel strange because it's different, especially if you try to hold it in front of you and underneath. Alright, but with your hand there, if you slip, you will always have a good hold. Come on, come on through. Now, whenever I'm getting everybody's photos, in order to get everybody in that corner, I always push the first person around to here. There is almost always a wonderful breeze right here, which they never tell anyone else about. Can he even tell you? No. <laughs> now, recapping. Your orange carabiner should be on that loop. Your traveller will not pull you down the stairs when it starts to roll away. 
Alright, you wouldn't believe how many people I've seen get to this corner, they travel and trickles over there, and I watch them go. <laughs> <laughs> Part of the reason I walk backwards is so I can see it. <laughs> Hand behind you and underneath and you will always have a good hold. Now as you come around the corner, of course the northern side of the Q1, it was most people that time of service paradise. That long the golden stand and the full service paradise. Lots of people on the beach, all the little dots down there. Yeah. Yeah. 
And I'm the lucky last from New Zealand. the end of the railing. Please make sure you have a good hold of that traveller. Remember we haven't had to hold them for a while, they are quite heavy, so don't let it take you by surprise when it comes off the edge. Anybody who's undone that orange carabiner, I'd suggest doing it back up, because if you do drop it, it's going to pick up a lot of momentum on the way to your shins. Now, when you get to the end, there is a stopper. Alright, push the stopper in, travel will roll straight off. Do not run over your thumb. Every day someone does it. Don't let it be you. I'll see you by the green wall once we're back inside. That people would not stand against the window while I explained how to use the traveller. And they come back in going, what was I thinking? <laughs> Now we're going to sneak back around at the south side so I can send all your photos down ahead of us through the computer. With a little luck we'll have some of them printed by the time we're out of our gear. Then I'll organise a lift so we can all go down together. That's it. Well, we're going to get you guys to hang out here while I send all the photos down. Here's 
literally takes a minute and I will be right with you. Some of those safeties because clearly you don't need them all now that we're inside. We've got to save a lot of time downstairs, but I will ask you to please keep the orange ones done up. While that one is done up, there is no way you can drop this thing on your toe or leave it up here, making me have to come up and find it later. Once you've done this, as I said, I'll look the lift so we can all go down together. And when we get back downstairs, we'll go back in the same way we came out. I will take these travellers off you as you come through the door. And then once we're inside, we'll sneak around to your right and there is a water cooler there. So please, help yourself to a drink. But then have a seat and undo any hat and glasses safeties that you have. Once we've got all those off, I'll show you the easiest way out of all the gear. tuck up against that back wall there. Again, if the lift is full of people when the door's open, they're all told to turn left, but they don't always do it. Floor. If it's different from the one you got in, <laughs> you are. <laughs> it's amazing how many times the lift fills up and everyone expects someone else to push the button. Mm -hmm. And we get 10 people arriving back up there. Steering the very dazzling <laughs> <night. laughs> As Skypoint turns into the highest altitude lounge bar every Friday and Saturday night from 8 pm. Relax and enjoy the live DJ sounds and cocktails from the most beautiful vantage point around. Tickets only $10 after 8 p.m. Thank you for visiting us and enjoy the rest of your day. And don't forget to check out your photos on the way out. Welcome back again, everyone. Thank you. Thanks for watching. To subscribe to my channel, then click over here. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time.